Hello everyone and welcome to Gaming E6 TV. Today I would like to talk about Sea of Thieves equipment and shopkeepers. Sea of Thieves is not just a pirate game about stealing booty, killing other pirates and hunting treasures and glory. It's also about fashion and most importantly being a pirate legend. But what's a pirate legend without style? Not much if you ask me. So in this video we will showcase you the three current shopkeeper NPCs that will sell you outfits, equipment items and weapons in exchange for gold that you get for completing voyages with the gold hoarders and other trading companies in Sea of Thieves. Our first stop will be the clothing store. Each shop has a store sign as well. The clothing store sign are boots. Meanwhile, the equipment shop displays two shovels and the weapon displays two cutlasses. The NPC's name in each of the shops are all randomized, and I believe they are never the same every time you log into the server, even if you are visiting the same NPC on the same outpost island. So here we are at the clothing store, and right outside of it are two chests, the clothing chest and vanity chest. As you can imagine, the vanity chest includes cosmetic items such as hair, facial hair, peg legs, hooks, and things of that nature. The clothing chest includes all of the clothes that you own. Basically, think of it as a bank that includes all your clothing items. Inside is the shopkeeper who will sell you clothes. If you pay close attention, you can see that each clothing item is unique and belongs to a certain set. If you want to look like an admiral, then you will need to buy all the items that have the name admiral in it. And if you want to look like a build rat, then you would look for items with the name build rat in it. Let's try to outfit ourselves in the admiral set, because let's be honest, it's the coolest looking set so far in the game, and it's also quite expensive as well. Unfortunately, we do not have enough money to buy the entire clothing set and weapon set, so we will be getting whatever we can for the amount of money we have. As you guys can see here, I bought the admiral jacket, belt, hair, and beard. I was not able to afford the head peg leg or the hook because I'm a horrible peasant pirate that does not know how to steal booty or find treasure for the life of me. The next store we will be visiting is the weapons shop and in here this is where we can buy fancier looking weapons to show other pirates how legendary we are. As you guys and gals can see here the weapons are a lot more expensive and it will take quite a lot of treasure hunting if you want to equip your character in a both full clothing set and a weapon set. Nonetheless I really like how unique and different each weapon looks like. I'm really looking forward to seeing what Rare has in store for the endgame gear. Now some of you might be asking are the weapons actually more powerful? And the answer is no. I believe Rare has stated multiple times that it's not really about power creep in the game, but rather about looks and prestige and how your pirate looks like. Does that mean that there are no end game rewards that change gameplay? No, there are stuff planned, but I believe they're leaving that for a surprise. Moving on to the last and final store, and that is the equipment shop, which is where you can buy your shovels, lanterns, grocks, compasses, and plenty of other things as well. And these do have unique names, and they do get pricey as you can see. The final game will have a huge variety of different gear sets you can buy for your pirate's looks. So make sure to save up that gold coin and decide exactly what you want, or you'll be farming for the rest of your life. I think the equipment hunt in this game will be loads of fun, and I'm looking forward to see what other gear sets Sea of Thieves has to offer come launch and beyond. And here comes the end to our equipment and shopkeepers tour. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and are looking forward to playing Sea of Thieves at launch on March 20th just as much as we do. We will be doing more guides and pro tricks and tips videos in the future for Sea of Thieves. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel because we will be running a giveaway for a digital copy of Sea of Thieves on March 1st lasting through March 20th. This digital copy is playable on both Xbox One and PC because Sea of Thieves is a play anywhere title that's also cross-platform play so you and your friends will never miss out on the fun. See you guys soon in the world of Sea of Thieves. Gaming in 6 TV will be leaving you right here. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and hit the notification bell to stay up to date, and know when a new video is ready for your viewing pleasure. Also, check out our official website at GamingIn6.com for latest daily news, featured articles, reviews, and more. Peace out everybody!